spacebar toggles through the stages. Uh, shift and control throttle up and down. T starts your autopilot. Autopilot just being keeping you on the same course that you're heading on. So pretty much you, you, you hit T as soon as you start. You'll still be able to control, you know, if you walked it around with AWS and D. Well, you can kind of you control from the gyroscope. A lot of whirl effects there. You're going really fast. Where's your speedo? Oh no, never mind. Just look at that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fucking 30, moving. Thirty thousand feet. You can start to roll it. Yeah, I mean, basically, it's just how high can we go now? <laughs> At this point, you don't really want to turn it too much. <laughs> Through one the 3,000 miles an hour or something. Just a mere 3,000 miles an hour. Yeah, it's all good. Oh, the G Force. Just another day in the hood. Yeah, 15 Gs. This guy seems pretty calm for. He's cool for 15 Gs. He'd be dead. Oh, look at that. Mm hmm. Holy shit. You really sky punched. Uh, right mouse click and hold. I think, yeah, shifts the view around. Let's see control the view a little bit. Oh my god. How do you zoom out to project your orbit? Um, Is it just mouse move? Map. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh god. It'll, um,. That's 75,000, yeah, it'll always go back to one speed for you. So you can press, you could stage it with spacebar and let go of that tank. So the parachute will come out as soon as you hit Atmo. The problem being is that you're going straight down. So there's a good chance you'll explode. So the friction, yeah, you're going 4,000 miles an hour. And you're about to start to hit really thick oxygen, so it's going to make a lot of friction. Shoot destroyed by air forces and you just instantly as soon as it went out. But you didn't. Wow, that's incredible. You survived. Either way, this is not going to be a good... No, it's not going to bounce. You survived an extra couple seconds. Oh god. Yeah, with parts from that engine. Wow! See ya! See ya! <laughs> that engine's Bye. still fucking off, eh? Um, <laughs> press escape, I guess. Alright, so usually, usually a thing comes up. Uh, revert to vehicle assembly. Hey, that gets your pilot back. <laughs> and if you had spent resources, it'll give you your resources. Back. But in this case, we haven't. So yeah, you can take that shit off. And make like a real rocket. All right. That was that was fun for science. You could probably get orbital with that thing. <laughs> that was a great time for science. If you had like, if you like throttled down, kept it at like four or five hundred meters a second, and then started rolling over at like ten thousand, you could definitely get orbital with a simple craft. Like you have infinite parts, so you can go to the moon. You can do whatever the hell you want. Unreal. Yeah. All for science. There are skinny tanks in there somewhere. Like one above that is one. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. You start. And they're like tiny little there. engines and stuff. You don't need to do that. Hey? Uh, how many stages are you going to make? I don't know. I'm just fucking around. I don't even know what I'm doing to be honest with you. Oh, okay. stage. So now you just gotta lift that. So put it in another decoupler and then put some more fuel and rockets underneath it. Oh, okay. Decoupler between the actual engine and the fuel? Uh, no, no. Between the decoupler or the engine and the fuel tanks you're gonna put underneath it. Oh. You're gonna build, like, that's that's final stage. So that's the stage that you're gonna get so orbital yeah. with. Do another one of these? Uh, that's no, way that's, too big. That's huge. Uh, track control Z. Might I edit undo it? Uh oh. oh there you go. <laughs> the fuel tanks, it's all good. The handy thing is to hold Alt and just click the part you want to duplicate. I think really did. There we go. Say, I think I want to get the fuck out of here. Get out of here, indeed. There we go. And then fucking. Okay, more shit, fire this shit. More shit parts. 
Mein Kampf needs more sheet parts. What? Oh my god. <laughs> This is so fucked up. Yeah. Oh, thanks, thanks man. That's, that's not gonna work. Hey? No, it's not gonna work. That engine is making basically, basically no power, so it's not gonna go like that. What do you monitor all this? How little power it's making? I just know. Oh, okay. Like, that's a, it's a 50 thrust motor. Oh, even okay, if, so fuck if, that. Even if you put the 200 thrust motor, I, I doubt it would work. Um, Too many tanks here? Take some yeah, here, try something like that. Next to the AC, man. 650 motor. Holy shit. Build your way up to the fucking huge ass one, eh? Side of this tank, does it? What the hell? Uh, there's another one of these somewhere. Here. What? This one? Ah! Eat a dick, game. And like you said, little caps. Good stuff. Struts in there. Keep it nice and tight. I see your toit by your toit pants. Yeah, that looks fucking amazing. There we go. These things sometimes like to warble. To warble. So shit like this will keep them pretty much rigid. Mm. Throw a couple structural tires in. Exactly. If only had some action. Well, actually, no, I know nothing about. Uh, and we gotta stage it, which is all that shit on the far right there. Oh, fuck yeah! So you just gotta swap these. So like, I roll it down. That's what I do, like, or I, I roll the screen down. Okay, and I start at the bottom. It's like, okay, I want the two rockets to fire. So you just mouse over rockets until you find, like, that was one, I think. Yeah, those two are ones, because they glow. So it's like, that's one, and that's that was... one. So I grab them, and I put them in their own stage together. So I, I just click one, and then drag it down to the parachute. Uh, no, you gotta grab the green. So the green? Click, click green. Here? Or the, uh, the actual... No, here. Oh, fuck. Uh, control Z. Yeah, control Z. Here, just drop it off screen. Oh, that's not off screen. Way to go. Click the boosters. And you're just gonna drag them down. Yeah, stick them into the parachutes. Uh, grab that big motor. That one there? Yeah, because it glows. And drag it down with the parachutes. And then 
we can get the parachutes the fuck out of there. We can move them up with the other parachute. No, you gotta when it's when it says two, oh, yeah, it's always gonna open as a tree, and then you can move the tree. It's kind, gotcha. of, it's kind of annoying. They should just let you grab the two and go. Shouldn't babysit you like that. Because um, when are we gonna move fucking one? <laughs> so the boosters will definitely drain out first. Right. So, These will. Yeah. So the, yeah, they're gonna fall away at some point. Mm-hmm. Where do they fall away? Before this, hopefully. Yeah, but so like, you gotta. No, where is it? Like, where are they? Oh, they're right here. No, the that's so that's engine on, engine on. We want that, and then we want the next stage to be those two falling away, so the decouplers have a thing somewhere. Oh. Are they in here? Or is this this actual? It's those things on the side. They're like radial mount. That was them. <clears throat> okay, good. So they're right after anyways. And then, uh, at that point, we want those side-mounted parachutes to go. Oh, so that would be... One of those... Uh, oh, it's probably the one with the two. Because there's two of yeah. them. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so yeah, click it. Oh, yeah, fuck. I've right. ah, never seen that before. I don't even know how you did that. How you managed to open a click one. I wonder if they deselect. There we go. And then down to stage four. The numbers should really go the other way. I think I tweeted them that once, and it's still like that. And that goes. We definitely want those two to probably go at the same time. I drag so, this down? Uh, no, like, like the de that decoupler and that engine should go at the same time. The engine is under there, right? Right. So that's that one and that one. Yeah. And just drag them under there. So as soon as it decouples, you've got instant power. The next stage, it wouldn't be so important for... Oh, <laughs> look what we forgot. Fucking... Should be. <laughs> yeah, that would have been awkward. They're going to get up and we're like, oh, we carried all this fuel up here for nothing. Fuel delivery service. Yeah. Okay, and those? Oh, where are those? Oh, it slipped right in our shed. Okay, good. That's hilarious. And just for good measure, we'll do this. So it decouples away, and we can actually slow down. Oh, actually, a new part. Put it in. A new part I keep forgetting about is I think they have a heat shield. What? Oh, here we go. Uh, 1.25. Yeah. There. Look at that. Fucking sweet. That looks beefy, too. And everything's still staged. Check. Let's crash this fucker. Let's crash it. Where are we going? We're we gonna crash into. It's big enough that you could probably circle and navigate behind the moon. Uh, T. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's throttle up. Shift little, to control. Your little throttle is right there. Yeah. Just go to 100. Just max it. Yeah. On takeoff, you pretty much want max. Max power. She's not swaying too much, eh? Just point true. Just got a lot of vectoring down on the uh, on those engine. That main engine is 3,200 units of thrust or something. Holy shit! Yeah. See, so yeah, you're hauling ass. You're in like well over 500 miles an hour already. <laughs> He's loving it. Yeah. Jebediah. So zoom in a bit because your boosters are gonna drain out in a second. And when they do, you're gonna hit a space bar. Guys here, yeah. yeah, I just watch for the flame out. The parachute kind of carried it away a little bit. The parachutes are also for realism, because it looks fucking awesome. That's exactly what NASA would do. They'd want to salvage those boosters. That's awesome. They'd put them in the ocean and make sure they can salvage them. I don't know if those ones are going in the ocean. <laughs> no, no, they're coming right back down. We're going to roll to 90 a little bit, because 90 is equatorial. Oh, okay. And we're well high enough that we probably should have done that a long time ago. We're going to have a big ass orbit, but that's good. That's okay. Relevant. Yeah. Uh, you can even roll over more, like push it towards where that 90 is. The actual lettering for 90. Put it right on there. Oh, to have it, I 
I double tap T when I get to where I want it on the gyroscope. So when you got to 90, I go like T, -t and it just resets for right there. Because sometimes it'll wander back a few degrees. Another annoying bug that they just don't fix. It's like we, we're like, we know you know about it. Uh, press this button. It's something you always have to do at the very beginning. Now you'll actually have control in this map mode. You can cut power. Uh, X. X is oh, actually full cut, kill. and then Z is full throttle. Oh, okay. Kind of a handy shortcut that's near shift and control. Um, we can pretty much go out to Apoapsis and then do a burn to make like a big monster orbit. And then like shoot for the moon. And just sort of loop in behind the moon. We can't land on it. How do you do the speed up? Actually, we could land on it. I could land on it. Oh, um, period and uh, comma. Those arrows. And you have a little reference up in the top there. Okay, um, press this button. This one? Prograde. Holy shit, look at all this, eh? And it's very slowly going to turn you. You'll see very slowly <laughs> you're creeping towards prograde. Now something that's going to happen is it's going to go right by it. So a little cheat you can do is to just fast forward and then turn it right off immediately and it'll literally stop you. It's a total cheat, but you know, they don't fix bugs, so this is what we're going to do. Uh, so go full throttle. Basically, you're just regaining all the speed you lost climbing to apoapsis. If you were going like 2,000 meters a second, that's like 4,000 miles an hour. And now you're doing a, a snail's pace of 1,000 miles an hour. <laughs> but that speed's building up fast. A snail's pace. You're already doing about two, almost 2,000 miles an hour. Point out to the uh, into the blue a little bit. That'll point you up into the sky. And we'll get that apoapsis back. Huh? Hopefully. When you see apoapsis and periapsis snap, hit X, because that means it's a, like a perfect circle. But this is getting pretty borky, I think. I need to cut power and take a look at it. You just mouse over Apo and Perry, and it'll tell you what they are. So like 823 and 570. Okay, so you can zoom around to 823 and then burn at prograde a little bit. And it'll push 523 to the same 800. And then you've got like a perfect orbit. Oh, shit, do burn. Yeah, scoring. We have all this time. <laughs> yeah, they don't need food, so. Jesus. Wow! <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Just use the keys. I, I, find it's, I find it's more responsive than having to look out there and then click. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. And I used up there for like two years. Like I just recently went to the key bindings for it because it just annoyed the piss out of me. Good enough. Yeah, and they just let it. It's gonna come around very slowly because you have no uh, like air jets or anything it's all electricity How, what's your instant bind for zooming in all the way in out oh uh m oh right yeah, map you might be out of electricity actually so if you just burn a little bit press shift just to tap shift a few times get a little bit of power going oh i'm so Doing this. Are you are you dead in the water? Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, I kinda of missed Apo again. Oh my god! <laughs> that was <fucking> nuts. <laughs> How long's passed? Five days. That was five days. <laughs> That you just obliterated. Sometimes it feels like that, doesn't it? Jesus! Ah. <laughs> Stop! Stop! God Stop. damn it! Stop. <laughs> <laughs>
keep sending this guy through time. How many G's was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That wrecked me a little bit on the inside. One million G. Um, meant a lot. Am I fucking just spinning like crazy? You want to see what you're doing from map. Oh. Otherwise, you have no idea when periapsis is getting close to 800 ish. It's getting up there, but. Yeah. So, burn a little. What I do is I get to Apo. And, of course, making sure that the gyro is on Apo. Most, most roll back just a little bit. There we go. Uh, put your mouse on periapsis and then burn. And this is how you make. So it's oh. 850 something. There, stop. There, perfect. That, that should be damn near perfect. Yeah. 829, 831. Uh, what's Apple? Yeah, look at that. It's a, that's a damn near perfect order. Sweet. Anything like five, anything within about 5,000 meters is, is kosher. I usually do my orbits really shallow, though, like 100,000, because I'm putting up like international space stations are like rendezvousing with the discovery and stuff like that but we're just doing mega mission so from here mouse roll out a bit fucking 11 million miles yeah, just turn the view a little bit yeah that's about right so when it gets to prograde You have a lot of vectoring power with a little bit of engine on. Nice. So just punch it. Point towards the brown just a little bit. Go ten or so degrees in there. And get ready to hit X. You see that blue line change at all? Pop. Awesome. So that's that's like a rendezvous. So basically, we're gonna hit it. So we want to get up oh, here. Actually, go all the way back down. Quick save, and then we're gonna go. On. <laughs> oh, <'cause> I, <laughs> like that. It's like really slow, and then all of a sudden, it's just <laughs> three thousand. Oh fuck! Ten million miles an hour. Okay, click the other one beside it. It's a retrograde. Because we're going to get into a braking position. You can tap just the throttle, just the tiniest little bit of throttle. There you go. Good. And that'll help with the vectoring. It'll really bring the... Uh, bring her about, Captain. Alrighty. So if this is green space on the other side. Okay, and then start throttling up a little bit. More and more and more. And we want that to turn into a blue circle. So just punch it. You'll see it start to form into a circle and then pop. There you go. Oh, that's a really good orbit. What's that? Check it. One million, two, and one million. That was coincidence. That was very nice. Uh, just keep burning. We want to be like a hundred thousand meters or so. No, it'll be the other end. It'll be the other end. There we go. Okay, so we're going to carefully, you can mouse roll in a little bit, get a little closer. Oh jeez. Oh uh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sketch. Okay, and then we're on retro, so we do have to go the whole way around. Do a little bit of throttle. Just a tiny bit, that'll give you a bit of control. It's irrelevant what's happening on Apo. Now watch Apo. And we want to bring that down to about a hundred. Get around to the light side. Jesus, oh, we're gonna loop around again. And quick save. Okay, so press M. I wanna see the craft. So we've got about three quarters of the tank of. Hmm. Hmm. 
craft is really tall. It has no landing legs. Um, oh, jeez. But, I mean, we came all this way to party, so we've, we've quick saved. So, you can... Basically, the, the statistical probability of us putting it down on a flat spot are null and void. But we can get very close to the surface. We can get close enough that you can look out the window and, like, check it out a little bit, and then we can go back up. <laughs> yeah. hey. hey! that's neat. Cool, Okay, let's ya. get out of here. But yeah, we'll never touch the ground. I, I doubt it. Alright. So you're going to shut off a bunch of speed until that line terminates somewhere around, like, say, that crater. How do you shed speed? You're in retrograde. You're pointing to retrograde, which is break position. So you just throw Oh. Until that is? Uh, until the blue line terminates in that crater. Somewhere around 3 o'clock. Um, try switch it back to the mode that's just the one single one at the top there. What's it called? Stability assist, yeah. And then point to north. I don't know where it is in the gyroscope. I don't think that's even the gyroscope. It's WASD. Try a little, just tap the tiniest bit of throttle, and that'll give you your control back. Yeah, down or up, and you'll eventually come to like a solid line that is north. Okay, north is there, but you don't want to be pointing straight up. That's not north. North is down. See yeah. that? See that line? That orange line? Yeah. That's that's north, and you want to be at equatorial north to move your orbit up. Oh, good. You murdered this. Um, just put it in retrograde. You're just gonna have to get into a break position. Oh, what we can do actually is just. Yeah. <laughs> so we're starting from scratch. We're in orbit. All right. So let's try this. Again. Whatever. Yeah. So. Uh, so retrograde. One of those things actually is north. But I don't know which one it is. One of them will point you in. I think it's normal. I think that's what they call it. No, I do not. Do okay. retrograde now. We'll shed the speed first, and then we'll point into that crater, hopefully. It doesn't really matter. It just looked like it would be a point of reference to get into. Alright, punch it. Maybe just come up short of the crater and like, keep going. Just put it like on the left side of the crater. It might be a flat spot. Press M. And we got lots of fuel left. I think that might be the crater. Uh, no, we're pointing retrograde, so it would be behind you. Yeah, it's, it's that crater, I think. Oh, <laughs> that's, gotcha. That's yeah. Oh, <laughs> Fuck! Yeah, we're still okay. What I don't like to see is when you're going over 400 meters per second and you're below 40,000 meters. You know, I always like to keep my hundreds in check. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like if you're at 300 and 300, you're good. If you're at 200 and 200, you're still good. That's kind of how I like to go down. But you've got a ton of thrust on that rear motor. So you could burn like probably at 20,000 and still be fine. That speed will come off really fast. In fact, do a quick save. Oh, no, no, you want, you want retro. You want retro? <laughs> yes. Otherwise, when you burn, you won't be slowing down. You're just going to be turning. And you definitely want, like, full break in this case. You're falling at 800 miles an hour. Yeah. And you probably weigh, like, <clears throat> 60 tons. Yeah, it'd be cool to slow down a little bit. And...
This shit would be crazy. <laughs> would not be this Home calm. Brew fucking space program. Yeah. Might be a realistic idea one day. How scary is that? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Buy it at Walmart. I'm just gonna go to space for the weekend. You could probably you know, start like put on like thirty percent throttle or something like that. Holy smokes, shed speed pretty quickly, eh? Yeah, exactly. Exactly why you could afford to wait a little while. If you had small motors, you'd want to be doing this the whole, pretty much the whole way down. Sort of a control this end. Coming into Mars is really easy. You just need parachutes. You can land pretty much a full payload there. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh. Oh. There you go. This shit is fucking crazy. Right, right. Can you, see, you can, you, can you see your landing site yet? Yeah, I guess so. It, I'm hoping it's that space because that looks it looks flat from here. Yeah. Um, throttle up a little bit. We want to start getting rid of some of the speed because we've got the fuel to do it. And you'll start coming about when the speed comes off. Throw it back a bit. You don't want to. You don't want to lose all that speed, right? You don't want to start going up. That's what you want to see is the numbers just sort of trickling. Uh, Right-click the red, the orange tank. Hmm. It's doing pretty good, actually. <laughs> Remarkably for yeah. for how far it just came. Throw it back a bit, and you're about to start going up again. No, you're good. That was that was the acceleration you wanted to see. Because you were still falling. Throttle back a bit. There you go, just leave it there for a second. Yeah, 10 meters a second isn't too bad. Exactly. If it's green, does it mean like... Because it was way earlier, yeah? In orbit, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I just know that... The speed means that's how fast you're going. And straight up means you're going straight down. So definitely throw it out. You want to shed some of the speed. Basically it's now it's now it's a controlled descent. And you want to basically get down until you see your shadow. Uh, but at some point you're gonna lose power, and it's because you have to press spacebar, you know? And yeah. That, and that craft will be very light and it won't take much throttle to keep it in a controlled descent. It does. It does not look three kilometers away, though, does it? No, no, it's no. That's that's uh, point three. That's like a quarter mile. No. I see what's going on here. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Oh god. 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 <laughs> oh god. Get the yeah. fuck out of here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Good save. Oh man. Good save. Okay, so we want to go 90. Oh man. Yeah. Nice. Our fall was pretty much to 90. That's good. Look at Jeb. He's like, oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Do you we see that fucking die? Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> oh man. And yeah, that'll turn into an orbit really quickly here. So we can pretty much just drive by this instead. It'll very quickly sort of outstretch, and then we'll want to stop, get to apoapsis, 
Which is the same thing we did to get out here. Exactly. And then same thing we get home. Yeah. Well, you landed on the moon. First try. Sweet, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's farther than, you know, most people get. Hey. Especially without landing gear. Exactly. Couldn't have done it without you, though. Without landing gear. How high is that? Is that a good apple? But for the really, you says I'm about around 100. Yeah, probably. Like you want it to sort of start to stretch around the other side. Yeah, it's a shame you can't, oh. warp, you can't warp on a throttle. Gotcha. You just gotta let her go. Yeah, it's only a coaster thing. That's interesting to learn to try and drive by this. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. It takes a long time to get used to. You could probably stop there and then just pop out to Apo and burn again. How much fuel do they have left, actually? Hold on. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that wasn't just burning through fuel like crazy. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. That's good. Uh, prograde. Prograde is into the wind. Oh, this thing turns a lot better now. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Holy Super shit. light, so the SAS is actually functioning. And then you punch it. Um. Go back to stability assist. And then point it right at the equator. What am I doing here? So we don't really, we're just, we just got to get home. So where's the earth? Right there. All right, so we want to come around right to this side. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Just a little bit forward. So about right, probably. And then burn prograde. Until you see it link up Until with it. Like, it'll detach the little blue, uh, the blue circle will just snap away as soon as it disappears from a circle. It'll turn off your engines. Uh, so go to. Actually, that Apple app is pretty good. Uh, go to the Apple Apsis. So you're just going to burn forward a little bit. Burn in time. No, 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 no. Uh, fucking cocksucker. Yeah, we did kind of miss. I think we missed our opportunity to do that. So just go loop all the way around. You're going to go all the way back to Apo. You can let it go pretty quick. It's okay if you miss it a few times. Because at this point, you're in a holding pattern like this. Oh, God. Go one more time. Oh. oh. Okay, so you're going to want to burn it retro. Because you're going to... You're, <laughs> you're in a rendezvous with the moon again. <laughs> You're gonna hit its uh, sphere of influence and start descending back into its orbit. Orbital decay. Okay. In fact, in fact, just just burn, just burn retro until you see the the periapsis snap around to the other side there, and then we're gonna shed that periapsis down to like fucking a hundred thousand meters. Keep an eye on Perry though. You want it to be on the Earth? No, we want like 100k. Like 100,000 meters. We're at 4 million. Yeah. Good. So stressful. 
so you can burn to parry, and then we're going to break the apo down to the same roughly 100,000. Hoping we have enough fuel. Okay. Sorry if you miss it. You're out of. You're definitely out of the moon sphere of influence now. Okay, perfect. All the way down. All the way down. Yeah. Negative. Yeah, that's that's fine. Mm -hmm. And we want retro. Breaking position. Oh, where are you going? Come on back. And then full burn. Yeah, so we're watching fuel and like every one of those ticks by. It's like one less that we have to land. The reason you want to get really shallow. Oh wait, your apo is getting really. Or it's just stop, stop, stop. Your parry is getting so shallow that you risk falling in. Basically, if we have to go back around again, so you need to point. Prograde. I think into the brown actually. It's like this. Is Perry rising? No, it's still falling. Now is it rising? Yep. Is, it keeps. Oh, it's going back to retro. Put it on stability assist. That's why. I was like, why is it keep pulling me back to retro? <laughs> That's what I'm just trying to do is burn right into the earth. And then we can slowly start coming back this way and basically control that number. Down again. falling into hopefully land on the light side. Oh, actually, hold on. Oh, throttle down. There we go. That should put us actually right down back at Cape Canaveral. We, we launched in. from like right around there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like I think that little white patch there is the little patch of land. And those little islands are the little islands. Like right out. Cape Carbonaveral. Carbonaveral. Oh, well, there's that be. Full burn, and what we want to do is terminate right about there. Right about now. Yeah, do a quick save. F5. Boom. So if we fuck up, we can just go right back. Um, so that's it. Uh, go back, press M. Press spacebar. No, yeah, nothing happened. Oh. There we go. See ya. See ya. Thanks for the lift. Turn off T. It's just kind of like warbling for some reason. It was like, rrr, 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 rrr. didn't know what to do. So you're adrift. Look at that. It's a nice slow fall, eh? Yeah. Orbital decay. The next landmass that comes up okay. is going to be the one you're landing at, not this one. Okay, you're still like 130 miles up. Kilometers.
Oh, geez. Uh, you don't really have to touch that. Eventually, it'll write itself. That's why we turn T off. There you go. So it's starting to hit little bits of particulate. That's why it's writing itself out. Is the the odd particle of oxygen or neon or something is dancing across the bottom of this thing, tickling its butthole. Ah, <laughs> oh, stop it! You can see as it it's, it's, yeah, it's starting to point. Heat shield is doing its job. You can see the lights up ahead. That's where the landing party is. But we'll probably come up short. I have a feeling we'll probably come up either in those mountains I feel like or like there. just on the other side of those mountains. That little patch? Uh, yeah, we, we, yeah, we'll probably come up just on the other side of those mountains in that green patch. The grasslands. Look at that, I almost made it back home. Almost. Only been gone 22 days. <laughs> Only. That's where you're putting your on the wrist when you're man. Longest moon mission ever. Yeah. Poor Jeff. We'll make sure he gets a medal. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. We'll send his uh, widow a ham. <laughs> Got it for that? Yeah, like right at the last second. About a thousand feet or so. From all of us here at Cape Curve Navarro, welcome home, Jim. Yeah. I'd be so too, like, holy shit. I did it. <laughs> Back on land. I made it, thank God. I'm never doing that again. Awesome. Uh, go up to the height and it. The, the height and it does like a drop down and you want to recover the vessel. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah all the NASA guys are like, yeah. <laughs>